Hi, I'm Waziullah. Here today to install H201000 units on this Lexus LX470. We'll find out that how efficient it is to run on this set of vehicle or take even your four cylinder, six cylinder, or eight cylinder car that you have. You not only save your fuel, also the torque for your car power, it goes up. Fuel efficiency, also emission control, part of these features that we'll talk about it. And right here, as you can see on LX470, install right most car can fit it inside if it's not we can move the battery to either in your trunk or in the back side of it and fortunately on this LX470 we had enough space to mount right here you can see have good enough space is actually right now is about to install physically you can see this literally is a size right here no more than four inch height with a four inch weight and it's four by eight I would say probably maximum and it's literally spinning right here so if you find a spot in your car somewhere to mount this device where we'll connect a couple connections which is right here to your full exhaust and get some electrical which is from the run from the battery and we'll have a small unit where also where the breather you can say the piece part of this H201000 units or H202000 units, both of them, where you can save you thousands of dollars in terms of over the period of time. If you invest literally say thousand dollars for this unit and if you save gas pretty much thirty to fifty dollars a monthly basis and you can pay it off in six months the most. Some cases we have seen or you heard about the generator that if you were to install and you save almost 30 to 40 percent on fuel, on your diesel or other opera gas operation, you can pay it off literally anywhere from two months to maximum six months. And that's the number we're talking about savings. Not only that, it runs cleaner as far as your engine goes. Your maintenance is also much less. It has no maintenance on this one whatsoever because there's no moving parts inside that unit. So you have literally have a unit that is much safer than other fuel saver technology such as CNG, compressed natural gas that have a cylinder and you're taking a chance in case it's blow up. It could be a big hazardous for health and accident. This has literally nothing to worry about because this is create on demand hydrogen which is on demand create that electric that require to increase your horsepower or torque for the engine and same time your full saving emission control all together and we'll be coming back again after we install complete we'll run it here for a week or two weeks and then we'll show you how efficient and how much fuel we're saving we'll talk to you later thank you for listening Hi, I'm Wazirullah. I'm introducing here H201000 unit. This is the unit that we just installed it here in Lexus to show you how you can save on your fuel economy. You can pick up the torque power for your car and also you can cut down your emission 98 to 100 percent. This is the unit right here. Basically, if you open up, you see the unit basically comes in a size of battery or half size of battery and also you provide your bucket in the event you don't have a space to put in in front of your car you move your battery in the back and put it inside this bucket which is safety bucket we put it and install that where your battery is installed however we got fortunate on this Lexus LX470 we receive we have a space right here where we put in this unit right here you can see where you got a two connection, one of them goes to your battery, positive, the other side goes to ground. Then we pour distilled water with the electrosis formula that we have, what create this hydrogen power that goes through your exhaust system. And that's what create the most, you clean your, through your combustion engine, burn your fuel clean. 
And this is what we have it, H201 thousand technology installed right here in this vehicle. On this LX470, running a smooth, save you gasoline, and also you have no carbon monoxide on emission report. That's the best thing you can have for environment, as well as you increase the power, and at the same time you save gasoline. You get more mileage per gallon. Thank you very much. University of Idaho put on at Boise. And we went through this whole process with them, and as they talked about this, they said to me, you can't create something out of nothing. Okay? So as we talked about the theory behind this, I said, well, how do you think we're creating something out of nothing? And they said, well, you're getting more power, you're getting more than what the engine is producing. And I said, no, that's not exactly true. Because if you have a 70 to 75 percent efficient engine, that means I've got 30, 25 to 30 percent untapped energy that is being wasted in that, inter in that engine. If I can tap that, then what is going to happen is, is I'm going to have increased horsepower, I'm going to have increased efficiency of the engine. Instead of having a 70 to 75 percent efficient engine, now I'm going to have a 98 to 100 percent efficient engine. I'm burning all of the available fuel in that combustion chamber, and because I'm burning all of the available fuel, I don't have to press down so far on the gas pedal to get the same amount of power mm -hmm. or go the same distance as I'm doing right now. As we look at a vehicle, what we're going to be determining is, number one, location of where we're going to put the unit. Critical areas that we have to do is we want to have the unit itself as close to the air intake as we can possibly get it, so that the air intake line going from the unit itself to the air intake of the vehicle is going to be a short distance. So what we look for in the engine compartment is to determine where the best location for our unit is going to be that's going to be the least invasive of the, the unit itself and the easiest for us to be able to install a unit. Fortunately, in this particular vehicle, we have a very good spot. It looked like it was custom made for us. Probably I'm not going to have to have any kind of uh, brackets or support system whatsoever. It fits perfectly in there. It's, it's tight. It's not going to move around. There's not going to be any rattling. So consequently, we couldn't ask for a much better place than what we're doing right here. So once we determine the location, we also have to make some determinations as to where our parts and pieces are going to fit so that it's going to be easiest for us in order to be able to determine where we're going to put things. We're going to have to, based on where I'm seeing this right now, we're going to put the condensate bottle against the firewall. We will put the uh, relay against the firewall because there is a microphone space up 